Hello equestrians and adventure fans. My name is Alyssa and I am on a quest to ride every breed. There are hundreds of different horse breeds and each one has their own unique story. So saddle up and join me on a ride to discover the horse. Start of a very big discover the horse trip. And I'm here at the Fort Lauderdale airport where I was a little worried about the weather. And I'm still a little worried about the weather, but hey, this quest adventure is starting with a rainbow. Over the course of this trip, I will be riding every breed in Sweden, Denmark, Norway, and Finland. To help me accomplish my task, having the right riding gear is a necessity. I'm meeting up with an equestrian sportswear company that got its start right here in Sweden. You can tell we are in a horse country here. My name is Helena and I'm one of the founders and owner of uh, Stjärna Equestrian Sportswear. It's the old spelling of Stjärna, which means star in Swedish. And it was actually my first like big horse love was named Star Queen. Everyone remembers the first horse. It doesn't matter if whoever you meet in the world and they start to bike horses, you get all these emotions involved. And we wanted to show the passion, like that this is a lifelong, you know, love for the horse. Their mission, to provide active riders with a range of high quality equestrian sportswear that allows the athlete to perform at their optimum in all conditions. So this will keep you one. warm and dry. Oh, <laughs> that I'm in one love. is also waterproof 20,000, 20,000. That was one of the things when I was reading about your company that really stood out to me is like, you're purposefully trying to create gear that mm. is going to last people a long yeah. time. A lot of the impact on the environment comes from the production of the garment. So if you can wear it for a longer period of time, it that is actually what will make a huge impact on the environment. It's for like, because every day is a good riding day. <laughs> so it's like, it's actually the pieces that you're gonna wear from day to day. And that's how it should be. Those are the best clothes, the ones that you actually use. I just can't wait to ride in all of this. <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. <laughs> Borrow a horse here. Yeah. <laughs> we just find a horse. <laughs> How did this all start? It started in 2015. I've been riding during my whole childhood and then I had a break for a while. Um, and uh, then my partner, who also works in the company, Robert, uh, he didn't know what he was going to buy me for Christmas. So he bought me a riding lesson. And at that time I was still on this riding course and uh, so he gave me this lesson and then he said, well, if you enjoy it, you can go once a week and I'll make sure I'm home with the kids and you can go and have fun once a week. And he thought that, yeah, once a week, that would be enough. Once a week got to be two days in a week and then eventually I found a horse and uh, yeah, I hadn't been in the saddle for like 15 years. And then I realized that the clothing were more or less the same. Well, there was a lot of more fashion into the equestrian wear, but not really sportswear and there was a lot of new materials out on the market and there was but nothing of that was really I couldn't find that in the equestrian world so I was complaining about that oh I don't think this is good I don't like that blah 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 and why can't I find a jacket that is like this blah blah and then Robert said well do something about it and that's how Stjana became a company so that's how it all started so I did something about it and here we are <laughs> It's time to meet the Swedish Riding Pony. There he comes. Oh, look at him. Yeah. The precious little pony. But he's so funny because with adults, he's more, he roughhouses a lot. Yeah, yeah. He pushes them around. Yeah. With the kids, they're like, um, He's teaching an eight-year-old how to ride, but she can like hang by his ears and he's just like, okay, this is fine. Yes. 
We've had this one for like five, I think. We looked for a very long time actually. And then we found his ad. And he was actually just, he was a liberty horse that would just go on hacks out in the forest, just being a tractor pony. But I fell in love with this cute face. Yes. But now that I've outgrown him, no, stop it. Um, we're, what do we say, we're leasing him, but he's still here, so. Sure. Yes. So another woman rides him. And she's lovely, really. And uh, yeah, just keeping him in shape. Now that he's getting a little older, we're, we want him to stay for as long as possible. Absolutely. And he's, as I said, teaching that eight-year-old girl how to ride. And he's so gentle, kid. It's, it's so cute. He's probably fitter than most young horses here. <laughs> My first Swedish breed. This guy's adorable. ASRP is the breeding association for the Swedish riding pony. They are ponies of noble and elegant type with light forward thinking and energetic movement. The stud book was created to build a pony that would excel in the competition world and be able to perform at all levels in various disciplines. Their height is between 130 and 148 centimeters. All colors are allowed. Horse riding is one of the most popular sports in Sweden. The Swedish Equestrian Federation joins together around 850 riding clubs with over 150,000 members in 19 different equestrian districts. This is a map of the clubs in just one of the districts. About half of the clubs have riding schools which are open to anyone of any age that wants to take riding lessons. Coming up on my quest, we are going to visit a very historic equestrian center here in Sweden. But for now, it's time for me to say goodbye to this spunky little pony. Good boy. Thank you all so much for riding along with me and discovering the Swedish riding pony. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me here in beautiful Sweden. I'll see you all at the next breed. Another raid, oh my goodness. And a big one at that. I cannot get over how beautiful he is.